Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Well, I thought I would do one more video today. Uh, I saw this and it is about Canada and about a bank run. So I thought it was important enough uh, to be its own video. Panic bank run leaves Canada's largest alternative mortgage lender on the edge of collapse. And if you watched, uh, I don't know if it was maybe Friday's um, a morning prophecy update. Uh, I spoke of this um, mortgage lender uh, that was bailed out uh, by... Uh, who was it? Uh, the Healthcare of Ontario Pel Pension Plan. Um, so this pension plan decided to invest in the in this mortgage company. Um, they had a whole bunch of toxic assets, bad mortgages on their books. And um, so this pension plan said, well, you know, we're going to take all this pension money and invest it in this mortgage company. And uh, what ensued? And I said in that vi in that video, you know, um, they're going to lose their money. And they should not be putting their money in a, a, um, a business uh, that has already failed on its own. So why would you try and bail it out by investing in it again? This is crazy and it has happened. After two years uh, of recurring warnings that Canada's largest alternative uh, non-bank mortgage lender is fundamentally insolvent, kept alive only courtesy of the Canadian housing bubble, which until last week had managed to lift all boats, Home Capital Group, that's the group, uh, that's the business I spoke about in the other video, suffered a spectacular, spectacular implosion last week when its stock price crashed by the most on record after HCG revealed that it had taken out an emergency $2 billion line of credit from an unnamed counterparty with an effective rate as high as 22.5%, indicative of a business model on the verge of collapse. Or as we put it, Canada just experienced its very own new century moment. One day later it emerged that the lender behind the uh, HCG's rescue loan was none other than Healthcare of Ontario Pension Plan. You'll recall if you watch that, that I that I mentioned this. As Bloomberg reported, the Toronto-based pension plan, which represented more than 321,000 healthcare workers in Ontario, gave the struggling Canadian mortgage lender the loan to shore up liquidity as it faces a run on deposits amid a probe by the financial securities regulator. All these pension people, they just lost their pension. Their money uh, went up in smoke. When this company is gone. Those people will not receive a uh, pension or at least will receive uh, less pension than they would have. And, uh, you know, these pension funds, I think, are absolutely uh, stupid. Uh, they're gambling with people's money. If you, like I said at that in that video, before this happened, I said, if you have money in that, and you can get out a lump sum now. I would do that and invest in your own thing. Pay off your house. Uh, you're going to get less probably, but at least you'll have it. Uh, as opposed to money uh, being tossed into a black hole like happened here. Um, so they gave the struggling company um, a, a loan. Home Capital also retained RBC Capital Markets and BMO Capital Markets to advise on strategic options after it secured the loan. Why did Hop or Hooper, or whatever you want to call it, Healthcare of Ontario Pension Plan, put itself or rather its constituents in the precarious position of funding what is very rapidly melting, uh, melting ice cube, exactly. Um, basically, they were stupid. They were looking for a quick investment, a quick gain. They were hoping it was going to go up and bring it back up. Um, and it was a high risk. Uh, I, they had to know it was high risk. And uh, they gambled with all those people's pension money. The answer to that emerged when we learned that Hope uh, or Hoop President and CEO Jim Kahane also sits on Home Capital's board and is also a shareholder. That would be a conflict of interest, folks. That would be fraud. I would suggest that's fraud. But how did regulators allow such a glaring conflict of interest? According to the Canadian press, uh, Kahane, Kahane had been a director of Home Capital until Thursday, but he stepped aside, stepped away from the board on Tuesday to remove the conflict of interest when it became clear Hoop might step in as the lender. That is a too close for comfort. That is still conflict of interest in my books. And that is still fraud. If I, if I uh, was one of the uh, benefactors of uh, this, uh, you know, uh, retirement, what is it, uh, pension plan, I would call that fraud. And I, I'm glad I'm not in I'm glad I don't have any pension plan. Well, I'm in a Canadian pension plan, CPP. And I'm sure that is uh, fraught with fraud as well. And I have no faith that there will be any CPP left uh, when I get old enough to uh, receive it. <clears throat>
If you have money in a pension fund, you should have no faith that you'll ever see that money. Um, the only way is if you can get out a lump sum now, if you can um, extract a certain amount early um, and get that, put in a gold or silver or pay off your house, get a hard asset. Um, because when they're gambling on the markets like this and the market goes down, you lose everything. Kay Hain further clarified on Friday that he doesn't view home capital investment as risky because a pension plan will be will be provided with two million two with with two dollars worth of mortgages two two it must be uh, two million worth of collateral for every uh, oh two dollars worth of mortgages as collateral for every one dollar it lends to home capital. All right, we take comfort from the underlying asset portfolio. So there are assets there, I guess. Uh, so we are not looking at home capital as a credit. Said Mr. Cahoon, Cahoon, in an interview with Business News Network Television, he added that a correction in the housing market is not of great concern, since the value of the homes would need to be plumped by more than 65% for the fund to make no return beyond the value of its principal commitment. And so, what happened in 1929? You probably had uh, that much uh, loss uh, in in house prices. Absolutely, when everybody loses their job, when nobody has money to pay for houses anymore. Absolutely, you can lose the value of, the, of your house that much, no problem. Furthermore, it appears that uh, Canada's pensioners are priming uh, all other company lenders. Kahin also said the funding syndicate would rank above uh, home capital dollar lenders. We have security interest in the collateral we've received, so we have the right to sell that collateral if we don't get paid. Um, as for other lenders or uh, pre-petition, because uh, there will be a petition here, the only question is when and in what form equity that uh, some four billion in assets that was just stripped from existing uh, collateral. In any case, the company's frenzied emergency measures to stabilize a near insolvent mortgage lender uh, were not nearly enough, despite HCG stock posting a modest rebound on Friday uh, between hopes of a rumored sale and a short squeeze. Those hope may be dashed soon because, the Glo as the Global Mail reports, the depositor bank run. That gripped home capital group in the past week only got worse after the company revealed just how precarious its funding situation had become. So people who had any money in this bank uh, or the, in this mortgage lender, uh, you know, investments, whatever, uh, they pulled all the money out. And I would too. I would pull all my money out of the markets. If you have any money in the markets, get it out now. Don't play with it. The, the market cannot continue up. You're going to lose something. Wait until there's a big correction, then maybe get back into it. Um, so there was a run on this bank, and, and they're pretty much insolvent now. Um, the uh, home capital currently holds $18 billion in home loans outstanding, a portfolio that would be difficult to swallow for rivals in the alternative mortgage sector, such as credit unions, small mortgage lenders, Montreal-based Laurentian Bank, and Edmonton-based uh, Canadian Western. These institutions, along with private equity firms, could still bid for a piece of home capital. Um, National Bank of Canada proactively called the equity analysts who follow the company this week to say it uh, would not bid on home capital after being asked if it was a potential buyer. Needless to say, the big banks would uh, be quite delighted if one of their bottom-picking competitors were suddenly to go bankrupt. Uh, which brings us to the most imminent risk of the uh, home capital group and its subsidiary home trust. Recall on Thursday we observed uh, the concern about HCD viability. Depositors were quietly pulling their funding from saving, savings accounts at subsidiary home trust. Because uh, if there's any connection there, you know they're going to start bailing in, using the money from other banks, from other companies um, connected, um, to, to bail them out, basically. By Wednesday, Home Capital revealed it was seeking $2 billion loan to backstop its sinking savings deposits. Shareholders ran for the exits, driving down the company's share price by 65%. People were getting out. As soon as they heard bad news, they were getting out as fast as they could. On Friday, the company revealed the highest interest savings accounts. Uh, account balances fell another 36% to 521 million by Friday morning, down by a whopping 293 million uh, from 814 million Thursday, and more than 2 billion a month ago. In other words, had it not been for the emergency hope loan, hoop loan, whatever you want to call it, the company would likely be insolvent as of this moment. So why would um, why would you invest in a company that is uh, likely or, or nearly insolvent? Uh, you're just basically throwing your money down a drain at that point. There's no proof that this company is going to come back. There's no proof that they're managed properly. There's no proof that uh, what they did wasn't um, just bad business. And so why would you invest in something uh, that was just bad business? Um, 
when you have a run on the bank, people get spooked and they say sell and ask questions later, said a Bay Street invest, investment banker. The investor psychology, uh, it's investor psychology that takes over. And I think uh, just how fast this happened in a week, a bank went insolvent even after a big bailout and people put a big run on the bank. Um, how easily could that happen to the whole economy uh, worldwide where people, uh, where there's a trigger event and all of a sudden the next day, bank machines are shut down. They don't want people to pull their money out because people are collapsing the banks. And the banks don't have enough cash to give everybody all the money that is in the banks. There's not enough cash um, to cover all the, the debt, all the, uh, well, all the value that people have, all the money people have in savings banks. There's not enough cash that people can take out. So they're going to uh, close the banks down. And, and uh, we're going to see more runs on banks as well as we get uh, closer to the end. And uh, I think this is just a great example of how fast a bank run can happen. How fast uh, can a company go from uh, what seems like a good, solid company to insolvent, uh, going into bankruptcy proceedings and having people just absolutely pull all their money out of it and, uh, and wipe them out. Uh, literally in a couple of days here, they wiped out that bank because uh, bad news. Uh, they found out the, the uh, company wasn't run properly. Um, and, uh, you know, like I say, if, if I was one of these people in the, uh, healthcare of Ontario pension plan, they just threw their money down the toilet. They took, you know, I don't know, thousands of millions of dollars, whatever it was. And, uh, and they, they might as well burned it, put it in a burn pile. Um, cause, uh, I don't think they're going to see that again. I would be surprised if I read an article here that says they got back their money. So it, it's stupid and, uh, pension plans should not gamble with people's money like that but they do all the time i mean they're trying to make more money and they bet on making more money they assume they will because the the money they get uh by gambling it on the markets is what they pay future generations future retirees um out that's how they pay the pensions out to future uh people by gambling on it and increasing its value basically and um the number of people who are going to start um uh, you know, applying and, and start um, a drawing on the pension plan, uh, I'm sure will uh, will be too much for the pension plan to handle with the uh, number of uh, people who are paying into it um, and with how much they've gambled and how much money they made. And in the end, all these pension plans are going to fail. You need, if your money is anywhere other than in your hand, in your pocket, under your pillow, um, you probably, you don't own it. You have no guarantee that you're ever going to see that money again. And even more than that, if you have cash, that may not be worth anything. You need hard asset. You need to pay off your house. You need to you know, buy hard assets that are uh, you can use in barter, uh, buy animals, things that reproduce and create wealth. Um, cash, markets, these aren't real uh, wealth. These aren't real value uh, because at any time the market co collapsed to zero and you would be left holding nothing in your hands. I will leave it there. This is significant. This shows you how fast uh, a run on the bank can happen and how fast a company can go completely bankrupt in the span, in the space of a week here. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you guys in the next video.